probably notice that my audio sounds terrible. That's because I'm using the camera audio in a busy room across the way. Let me switch over quick. Boom, I'm using a very, very cheap uh, microphone plugged into the uh, iPhone directly here. I just do a clap and then record the audio on the camera and on the phone. And then I'll show you in just a moment how to use some free software to sync that up for a much, much better audio. Then this sounds right here, that's terrible. Hey, 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 what do you say? Yes, it's that time again. It's Tech Tuesday. Hey, hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Ascension Worship. As you saw in that video today, we're talking about how to get better audio for any like Instagram videos you might be doing. So maybe you're a pastor and you're doing uh, some videos from a new location and you're having to do it outside. Um, this is a cheap, cheap, cheap way to get much better audio quality for your videos. Um, I think it's really important. So let's hop right into it. Today we are only spending $14. That's right. We are getting this pop voice professional lavalier lapel and every other description Taco Bell order thing here. I think it's really funny when a uh, piece of gear has to specify that it's professional, um, which usually means that it's not actually professional. Uh, however, you know, for $14, this is about as professional as you can get, and it does a really good job. Um, so this microphone, uh, as you can see, connects with an eighth inch connector here. Um, if you're on an iPhone like me, you will need to spend a little more to get the headphone adapter thingy that you've probably had to buy at some point. Um, otherwise, you can use this with an Android, with a laptop, pretty much anything that'll accept a uh, eighth inch connector. Um, so $14 for that, um, does a good job, has a long cable on it, it's great for 14 bucks, okay? Um, like I said, today I'm recording on an iPhone, um, and I'm using this app here, this is Voice Record Pro. It is free, which is one reason why I like to use it. Another big reason is that you can actually set the gain on this microphone. If you're not familiar with what that means, it means that you can turn down how much volume it picks up and keep it from distorting if you're projecting really loudly like I'm doing right now. So for me, I always set this microphone at negative three and that works really, really well for me kind of projecting into an open room. Uh, you can also set to record wave instead of MP3. Um, and then when it comes time to getting the file from your iPhone or Android or whatever, it's really easy to do. You can either uh, use text, email, or what I like to do is airdrop, and I can take even large audio files and very easily send them from my iPhone to my laptop where I can then edit them. Now the editing program we're using today, again, we're using free stuff here. We are using the free version of DaVinci Resolve 17. You might even already have a license for the pro version, the studio version, which is usually $300. Um, this is a black magic design uh, app. Um, and usually you get a license with like a camera or some of their switchers or whatever. So you might already have the ability to own the professional version of this. Um, but for today, we're gonna use a free version and that's gonna be more than enough for what we need to do. All right, so we're gonna spend the bulk of our time uh, in DaVinci Resolve. Um, I don't want this to be like a full on how to use Resolve video because there's too much stuff uh, to put into one video. So I'm gonna do the things necessary to make the video you saw at the beginning happen. Um, and then if you have any further questions from there, please feel free to leave a comment in our YouTube comment section below and I'll either respond to that comment or I might make a follow-up video in the future um, if we have more interest in this. So I'm gonna move as quickly as I can here to try to keep the video short and to the point. Um, so please forgive me if I skirt over something really fast. Um, there are other videos I've done in the past that will help further those concepts. And on that note, if you don't really do Instagram videos yourself, uh, hopefully you're still watching to this point because there is gonna be some really useful um, vocal processing tips in this video as well. So let's hop right into it. As I mentioned in the earlier video, 
Um, the first thing you need to do when you go to record is you need to make sure you're recording on both your camera and on the app on your iPhone, and you need to clap in front of the camera um, and record that onto both of them. We're gonna use that as a sync point. If you remember the old timey movies, they had the, the clapper thing that they would use. Same concept, but free, using your own clappers, your hands. <laughs> so we are in DaVinci Resolve right now. When you first open it up, it goes to this uh, cut screen. Basically at the bottom here, you've got different points at which you can edit your video or your audio. Um, and it starts you off in the cut place, which is what we're gonna use. So I've got my audio and my video already loaded on my computer. I'm just gonna drag and drop them and then change the frame rate to that, which is great. And we're gonna start with the video. So we're gonna drag it onto our timeline. You get this really nice zoomed in picture of my nose, which isn't embarrassing at all. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get right up until the sync point, that clap, and we're gonna make a cut. Um, and I happen to know that's around 22 seconds. There we go. Think. Think. There it is. Okay, so uh, using my left and right uh, arrow keys, I'm going to get right up on there. And then I'm gonna select the file, Command B will make a cut. Let's go ahead and drag in the uh, audio from the iPhone, which is this guy right here. And we're gonna mute the audio from the video and then let's listen to that. <laughs> here it comes. There it is. Okay, and then same deal, we get right up on it. Command B, and then I'm gonna hit delete. I'm gonna delete the uh, beginning of the video file that we did earlier, and then I'm gonna sync these two guys up. And now you've got synced audio. Hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Ascension. Easy, right? Okay, cool. Now, the $14 microphone that I'm using here, it sounds like a $14 microphone, but a little bit better. Um, it's not a very sexy sounding microphone. It doesn't have a lot of um, pizzazz, a lot of presence to it. So we're gonna make it sound a little better. So let's, real quick while we're in here, um, let's uh, hey, get past hey, all this hit. funny stuff here. Um, I'm gonna hit Command A to select all, Command B to cut, uh, and then delete. So we got the beginning of our video set. Let's go ahead and scroll to the end of our video. Okay. Good enough. Again, Command A, Command B. Select what I don't want and delete. And boom, we've just cut down beginning and end. Very, very easy. Um, again, I'm working fast here. Okay, so now at the very bottom of our Resolve screen here, we're gonna click on the little um, musical notes here. This is Fairlight, which is their audio editing suite. This is awesome um, because it's basically a pretty much full on DAW, which is an audio editing um, program, but it's built into DaVinci Resolve. So before, when I was using a different uh, video editing program, I would have to put all my audio in Logic or Studio One or what have you, edit it all down, and then drop that into Resolve. Um, well, in this program, uh, I can do it all at once, um, and I can even import Waves plugins, which is what I usually do. Now, today we're only using the free plugins that are built into uh, Resolve. You don't have to use Waves plugins, but it's cool to know that you can. Um, so, I'm gonna turn the little looper guy on so we can keep this audio looping. Um, We'll go ahead and name these. So this one is the camera. This one is the lav mic. I love it. Uh, and then bus one is our main output. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, just so I can really hear what I'm doing, um, is I'm going to throw a limiter on our master bus output. And this is just to give us a little more volume to work with. It's not gonna be really doing a whole lot right now. We're gonna come back to it at the end. Um, so to do that, I'm gonna go to my bus one. 
I'm gonna go to the effects button up here. We're gonna go down to dynamics, fair light, and then limiter. If you've seen any of my videos on limiting in an X32, XR18, or OBS, same exact concept as all those other three videos. You've got your threshold here. We're gonna set this to negative one, meaning that um, we have one dB of headroom before we could possibly hit digital peak. So that's like a protective layer of one dB. And then this input setting here is basically gonna crank the volume of what we're listening to, pushing it into that limiter. Um, so if we crank it up, it's to make everything really loud, but the threshold is what's actually protecting us from hitting digital peak. Um, so right now, I'm not gonna do anything super precise. I'm just going to make things louder so we can hear what we're doing and then we'll come back and tweak this later. Hey, hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Ascension Worship. And you'll probably notice that my audio sounds... So before... Sounds terrible. After... That's because I'm using... Cool. So it's just making things louder. That's all it's doing right now. Okay, so now we're going to get into the really good stuff here. Um, and we're going to EQ very quickly. Um, please don't judge me. The point of this video is to show you concepts. So I'm going to do this fast um, and not spend a whole lot of time on it. Um, but we're going to go to the EQ for our loft channel. I love it. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to throw a, um, a low cut or high pass filter on there. Um, as I've mentioned in my previous voice uh, EQ um, uh, videos in the past, uh, basically what this does is it rolls off the very bottom end Pastors, this is very important, especially if you're doing a video outside. Um, when you do these videos on your iPhone, you can't tell how much low end is happening because you're listening to it on this little tiny speaker. So if there's a semi truck coming by or the air conditioning's rolling or you're doing it in front of uh, you know, the venue and there's low end happening, all that's picking up on your microphone. And so this is gonna get rid of all that stuff. And uh, so when another church plays this on their PA, um, you're not going to have all that junk in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the audio. I'm going to crank the high pass filter all the way up. It's going to make me sound really thin, like I'm coming through a telephone. I'll then back it down um, to the point where I start to hear the body of my voice come back, and then that's when I'm going to stop. And so that way it's letting the body of my voice through, and it's cutting everything below that out. So let's go ahead and do that. The camera audio in a busy room from across the way. We're finishing up here at Experience Conference in Orlando, Florida. And I want to do a really quick video because I've seen a few pastors that their audio sounds like this. All right, so for me, around 120 is working pretty good. All right, so that's gonna get rid of the junk. The next thing, very important, again, this is not a very sexy sounding microphone. Um, we're going to just make it brighter and easier to understand. And we're gonna do that with band five here, which you can see is a high shelf. Um, so I'm going to boost that and move it around and just try and get it to where it's not nasally and super bright, um, but that you get more clarity coming through. Let me switch over real quick. Boom. Boom. We got this guy. This is Voice Recorder Pro, I think the app is called. I'll put a link in the description. Cool. Okay, so somewhere around there is a good starting point. Um, then, just like we did with the low cut, we're gonna use this high cut and get rid of any extra high end that we don't need. This mic can be a little bit noisy, so it's gonna help get rid of any high pitch stuff that doesn't need to be in there. So again, I'll turn on band six, I'll crank it down, it's gonna sound muffled, and then I'll turn it back up until the clarity of my voice comes back, um, but not anything above that. Um, but I'm using a very, very cheap uh, microphone plugged into the uh, iPhone directly here. This app lets you... So somewhere around 12K is going to work for today. Okay, next, um, let's get rid of any kind of like nasaliness that is going to happen. This is very common with lavalier microphones. So we're going to use band four here. Set the gain. And then um, what I do at the beginning of every video whenever I'm using this is I just do a clap and then record the audio. Cool. And that's just giving us more of what you have probably heard as a smiley face EQ. So we're doing a dip down and we're kind of boosting the, the lows and the highs. Um, so let's go ahead and boost the lows a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use band two, 
which is a low shelf here. Just like I did with the high shelf, I'm gonna turn it up and I'm gonna find where the body of my voice is. Uh, however, once I do that, I'm gonna then switch this from being a low shelf to being a parametric EQ, which is gonna be more focused. Um, so I'm not adding a whole lot more of that rumble that we worked so hard to get rid of earlier. Um, so let's hear how that sounds. On the camera and on the phone, and then I'll show you in just a moment how to use some free software to sync that up for a much, much better audio than this sounds right here. That's terrible. Hey, hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Ascension Worship. Okay, so somewhere around there, uh, just underneath 200 hertz is, is where I'm liking that today. Okay, so here's before EQ. And you'll probably notice that my after audio sounds terrible. That's because I'm using the camera audio in a busy room. So you hear whenever it's turned on, it just kind of cuts through a little bit better. It's a little bit easier to understand what's being said. It sounds like I'm more present and more like up in your face. So that's cool. Uh, so that's a good EQ to start with. Um, next, we're gonna move into the dynamic section. Now, pastors, if you're watching this video and all this is brand new to you, um, the EQ that I just did, especially the, the low cut and that high boost, those, uh, that and the limiter that I'm gonna show at the end are the two most important things in this video. The rest of the stuff is gonna be kind of the icing on the cake um, and really helpful for my audio guys, but if you don't understand this, try it, learn how to do it, it's a free thing you can do, um, but don't kill yourself in this area if this is confusing for you. So far, everything I've shown you is the most important stuff, and then this is just to go to the next level. So, we're gonna start with our compressor here. We'll turn it on. Um, we're gonna do a two to one ratio is fine. Uh, I'm gonna do an attack around 10 milliseconds because I like to do everything in either 110 or 30 for the most part. Uh, and then we're gonna do everything else the same. So, the way this is gonna work, um, I'm gonna crank down the threshold and you'll hear and see uh, on this gain reduction meter right here, the middle one, um, you'll, you'll hear and see that it's gonna be pumping, it's gonna be uh, turning me down when I get louder. Um, I'll make it really obvious and then I'll start to raise it up to where I feel like it's not pumping too much but it is controlling some of my louder speech. Um, so here we go. From across the way, we're finishing up here at Experience Conference in Orlando, Florida. And I want to do a really quick video because I've seen a few pastors that their audio sounds like this. So somewhere around there. Now what that's doing is it's making the whole audio quieter um, because it's getting the loudest stuff and turning it down. So we're going to make up for that with our makeup gain here. I'm just going to do this about 3 dB a boost. Okay, and now we sound like this. Let me switch over real quick. Boom. Cool. So you can see it's just controlling our peaks a little bit more. It's making a little bit less work for our limiter when we get there at the end. Okay, next we're gonna go to our expander. Um, this is basically a noise reduction technique. Um, expander and gate are the same thing. It's just the gate is the most extreme version and the expander is more forgiving. We're gonna start with the gate because it'll be more obvious what we're doing and then we'll switch over to the uh, expander um, for the final product. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the gate on um, we're gonna put the range all the way up. Uh, we're going to keep attack and hold where they are. We're gonna change release for speech like this. I like to do about 1500 milliseconds, somewhere around there. That ends up being a second and a half. It's, um, it's just very natural sounding uh, in the way that it kind of comes and goes. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank my threshold all the way up. It's gonna be effectively muting me. I'll then lower the threshold down and it'll start letting certain words through, but it'll sound really choppy. And the idea is to kind of make it chop between my, my words and, um, and, um, and my breath sounds. Um, and we're gonna just try and get it to where it's just, you can still hear everything, but it's chopping between those. So here we go. Boom, we got this guy, this is Voice Recorder Pro, I think the app is called. I'll put a link in the description. Um, but I'm using a very, very cheap uh, microphone plugged into the... Okay, so right now it's choppy, but you can hear every word. So now we'll switch into expander mode. Now expander mode right now, the ratio is saying how uh, strong it is. It's in its weakest version right now, 
We're gonna just put this at one to two. And now let's hear what we got. Uh, iPhone directly here. This app lets you set the gain. And then, um, so you can see whenever I stop talking, it starts slowly over a second and a half fading out. Um, and it's just kind of cleaning up some of that background noise that's happening. Um, and again, if you're not sure what to do on this, doing too much of this will make things sound weird. Um, so either keep your threshold low or just don't do it. If you don't need it, don't do it. But uh, this isn't the cleanest sounding microphone, so this will help to clean up some of that stuff in the background. Okay, um, so let's, um, let's go back to our limiter now. And then this is gonna be the final piece of the pie um, that's gonna allow you to get loud enough volume to hear well on, a on an iPhone at like three quarter volume. Um, so we've already set our uh, ceiling to negative one. We're gonna take our input level here and we're gonna crank it up. It's gonna make things really loud. And you're gonna see on this reduction meter that every time I say something loud, it's gonna show that it's turning me down. We don't want a lot of that because it'll sound unnatural and like it's just too loud. Um, so we'll crank it up to where we're hitting that reduction and then we're gonna lower it down to where it's either not hitting the reduction or it's only hitting it when I say like the most exciting things that I'm doing. And then that'll help to maximize our volume and still protect us from digital peak. What I do at the beginning of every video whenever I'm using this is I just do a clap and then record the audio on the camera and on the phone and then I'll show you in just a moment how to use some free software to sync that up. So right now I'm at just under 13 dB, which is a pretty substantial boost, but you see it's only every once in a while tapping on that reduction. Um, so again, the before, it's gonna sound like this, for a much, much better audio. It's pretty quiet. After. Then this sounds right here. That's terrible. <laughs> you see when I said terrible is when it started to just chop off that <laughs> that was kind of loud in the recording. Um, so cool, just for funsies here, let's do a comparison of the before and after. Um, so we'll turn off the EQ, uh, turn off the expander and compressor, turn off the limiter. All right, I'm gonna mute the lav. Here's our camera feed. Um, again, the camera's very far away, it's very noisy. Okay, here is the love without any effects on it. This is Chad from Ascension Worship, and you'll probably... Cleaner sounding, but not very loud, not very exciting sounding. So then if we add in the EQ... You notice that my audio sounds terrible. <laughs> and then the expander and the compressor. That's because I'm using the camera audio. And, and then finally the limiter. In a busy room from across the way, we're finishing up here at Experience Conference. That's it. Um, so that's quite the difference from that camera audio. Um, so real quick, again, I'm not doing a Resolve uh, tutorial here. However, um, the final stage of this would be to get the final product out. Um, real easy, again, at the very bottom here, you're gonna go to this little rocket ship, which is your delivery section. Usually what I'll do is very simply click on the YouTube and use the default settings there. You'll give it a name and a location, hit add to render queue, um, and then it'll show up over here in your queue. You're just gonna hit render all and it'll take a few minutes and then you've got your final product and that's it. Um, so I hope that's been helpful for you guys. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the YouTube section below. Um, and I'll happily respond to those or maybe make a follow-up video. Uh, this video is a free video, like all of our videos on this channel. Um, this is like, I think 127 now. Um, we, we are going for all organic growth on this channel. Um, and I think we have about 12,000 subscribers right now. I'm grateful for every single one of you, but there are more churches out there that could use this information. Um, so please help us out by subscribing, commenting, sharing, anything you can do to get this out here. It's a completely free resource for local churches. Um, we just want to see it help more churches. So help us out and get that out there. We'd really appreciate it. All right, guys, until next time, have a great week. Again, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. I hope this has been helpful for you and your team. Come back here every Tuesday for new information.